It's not just Democrats like Dan Goldman or like Jared Moskowitz comparing demonstrations on college campuses opposing a genocide to the neo-Nazi march in Charlottesville. It's also Donald Trump. Here he is outside of the New York City courthouse where he's currently on trial. And I guess this is just his thing now. They don't set up any real microphone for him. So apologies for the like tinniest audio. Can I get a goddamn lavalier over here, please? I know. I mean, if he's going to just come up, just for our purposes, I know it's bad optics because he's literally a defendant right now. But I, he's, he's doing just political talk in the, outside of the courthouse. I want to be able to hear it. Regardless, he's weighing in now on the demonstrations uh, on colleges in trying to get their universities to divest from Israel and weapons manufacturers. And uh, yeah, here he is, the guy who said there were good people on quote on both sides in Charlottesville. Yeah, very importantly, as you look at the uh, various colleges all over the country and beyond colleges, because it's happening in other areas too. You see what's happening on the front having to do with Palestine and Israel and protests and hate, anger. Biden is sending an absolutely horrible message. Horrible, horrible message. He has no idea how to message. He can't speak. He can't put two sentences together. He doesn't know what to do. This is not our president. This is somebody that shouldn't be doing what he's doing because he can't do it. He can't do it well. We're having protests. The president is the guy, not the guy who uh, doesn't make any sense, according to Trump. It's the guy that's under uh, literally criminal indictment right now and is outside of a courthouse where he's a defendant. That's the president. It, it's so funny the amount of people who want to talk about Biden as the way he can't speak. If Biden, his policy was actually we're done with Zionism. We're moving to one democratic state in Palestine <laughs> uh, with full rights for everybody there and you know, demilitarized situation. He could be a uh, vegetative oh. as far as I'm concerned. I don't care about the president other than what sort of policy comes out of that desk. Uh, like I don't need a performance by somebody who's really good at talking we got that with obama uh, who cares um like i like th this is such a dodge and everyone does it and it's not just trump but it's like every like sort of like um centrist right media group that doesn't want to be it to be known they're republican we'll just focus on that like it's a it's secondary oh no it's so I don't, he could be an inanimate object for all i care as long as like the right things get done but i mean trump also with is what we said though for why biden was making not just a moral mistake obviously and unequivocally backing israel but a political mistake because all trump has to do is say he's not doing a good job and he doesn't need to specify at all as he didn't there or what he would do differently because because after October 7th, he would have given Netanyahu carte blanche, 100 percent. He just has to say it was a disaster. Right, because in this moment, he's saying, like, he's been, how he's been handling this has been a disaster. <clears throat> and as you're saying, Emma, it's like, there's no follow up on, like, what would he what would Trump be doing differently or what specifically is is Trump saying it's a disaster because he's not being pro-Israel or not, enough or anti israel you know, It doesn't it, matter. It, it, it's not presenting it well. It's completely zone zone flooding. It just oh. it's just flattening it to make it so that there's really no need to go into particulars besides him saying I'm the candidate, he's the other candidate, and he's doing a important. He's job. been doing this since 2016. He did it when Bernie dropped out. The first event I ever did as an intern at TYT was going to see Trump speak down at you know in I, I forget which one of his properties it was in Manhattan, and Bernie had just dropped out of the race and he started saying how bernie was right about hillary on this and this and this and she's corrupt and our healthcare system is in shambles and he, he doesn't believe anything he's just saying what gets the best reaction and criticizing people and talking crap about his opponent that's all it, that's all that he he can really do in terms of specifics but i will say i don't think it's hits the same as in 2016 because everyone's like this is they've been hearing this guy for eight years yes and he does the same thing. Keep going. Somebody that shouldn't be doing what he's doing because he can't do it, he can't do it well. We're having protests all over. He was talking about Charlottesville. Charlottesville was a little peanut and it was nothing compared and the hate wasn't the kind of hate that you have here. This is Someone tremendous died. hate and we have a man that can't talk about it because he doesn't understand it. He doesn't understand what's going on with our country. He doesn't understand that all over the world we're being laughed at as a country because of him and his administration. And today we had a year. That's basically it. Okay. So clarifies that the hate apparently. The, the peanut. Hate. 
the hate is worse than Charlottesville, where literal neo-Nazis marched. You know, what's interesting is that Christian nationalists, somewhat associated with uh, neo-Nazis, showed up at Columbia last night. And they were provoking the anti-genocide demonstrators um, and people and the encampment from the right. And you know where, like, white supremacists and far right people align? Why Gavin McGinnis was showing up there the other day? They align with Israel. They align with Israel. That peanut uh, that he called Charlottesville, uh, not only uh, Heather Danielle High died, uh, 35 people injured, mm -hmm. uh, hit by a Dodge Challenger uh, driven by a white supremacist. So I don't think uh, they are comparable. And, you know, it's one thing for Trump to say that. It's an, it's an entire another for people that liberals look to for news, like Josh Marshall, to say that. And uh, it's not going to be forgiven by me. And people sh uh, that are maybe more forgiving of, of that sort of thing should understand what time that uh, our generation is on about some of these people who have been uh, within the progressive movement and also supporting uh, Israel in this kind of way, like to this extent. Um, just wanted to also, I was, re I reminded myself, um, there's a link here. If people want to go, we'll put this in the, the description in the fun half and in the free half. It's in both. Thank you, Bradley. Um, this is a website you can go to campusbailfunds.com if you want to contribute to the bail funds for the students that are getting arrested and also the the uh the faculty columbia cornell emerson emory george washington minnesota northeastern ohio state texas ucla ucl uh usc there's a national bail fund as well and um, if you want to support these kids, these young people, and the professors that are getting arrested and roughed up by police, um, you can go to that link and there are um, donations for the various uh, bail funds. Um, let's read some IMs. Ramona Frankenstein. Footage from Charlottesville on the day the event includes speeches being delivered that ended with gas is the slur against Jer Jewish people. Race war now. Gas the slur. Race war now. Those are the little peanuts Trump is talking about. Right. Really, Jews will not replace us. Yes, Jews <laughs> will not replace us. Right. Oh my gosh, how could I have not said that? Right. 